Hi, preschool. Miss Cheryl for story time. This is a cool book called Gordon and the Glockenspiel. Funny name, huh? Gordon and the Glockenspiel. Gordon was a rather middle-sized boy with curly red hair. Gordon's mother and father were rather middle-aged parents with curly red hair. Of course, they lived in a white house on a shady street in a quiet part of town. Gordon's mother was very fond of music. One day at breakfast, she said, I think Gordon should take music lessons. Gordon stopped eating his oatmeal and said, me? <laughs> Gordon's father looked over the top of his morning paper and said, why? Gordon's mother didn't answer. She just smiled and started singing her favorite song, Yankee Doodle. <laughs> the next day, Gordon and his mother and father drove their rather old car to the music store. A friendly man behind the counter showed them a violin, a shiny trombone, a bright trumpet, and a black clarinet. He said some musicians call the clarinet a licorice stick because it makes such a sweet sound. A licorice stick, yes, said George Gordon. We'll take it, said Mrs. To Mrs. Gordon's mother. I won't like it, said Gordon's father. But Gordon never learned to play the clarinet because of one thing. Whenever he practiced, he always thought of licorice candy stick. This made him so hungry, he couldn't make a sound. Not even one sweet note. So Gordon's mother brought home the violin from the music store. Here, Gordon, try this, said his mother. Gordon tried hard to make soft music. He drew the bow across the violin strings. The only music that came out was a loud squeak. All the dogs in the neighborhood heard the squeak. They began to howl loudly. Oh dear, this will never do, said Gordon's mother. I agree, said Gordon's father. Oh, then Gordon's mother brought home a shiny trombone from the music store. A trombone should be fun to play, said Gordon's mother. Gordon liked pushing the trombone slide in and out. He enjoyed hearing the notes he could blow, but he forgot to stand in the middle of the room whenever he practiced. Crash, he hit his mother's new lamp as he pushed the trombone slide in and out. Be careful, Gordon, his mother said. Finally, Gordon's father brought home a bright trumpet from the music store. Here, Gordon, said his father, blow. Gordon put the bright trumpet to his lips and blew. Rootly toot toot. Gordon played the note that he had never heard before. Neither had Gordon's father, nor had the man in the house across the street. Crack went the front window of Gordon's home because of the sound. Crack went the window of the front window of the house across the street. This will have to stop, roared the man across the street. Indeed it will, said Gordon's father. Gordon sat at the front steps and looked at the broken window. What's the use, he said sadly. I'll never learn to play. And his mother did so like music. Poor Gordon. One day, Gordon and his mother and father went to see the circus parade. When the circus band came marching up the street, Gordon said, I see something I think I can play. Where, said Gordon's mother. How, said Gordon's father. Gordon pointed. There, it was gold and silver. It's being played by a happy clown. He's hitting it with little red hammers. And he's playing Yankee Doodle. Remember, that was the mom's favorite song, right? After the parade was over, Gordon and his mother and father hurried to the music store. We know what Gordon can play, said the mother to the friendly music man. We think, said the father, it's about this wide and about this long. And it's gold and silver, said Gordon. Aha, I have one just left, said the friendly music man. He brought out a beautiful gold and silver instrument. This is called a glockenspiel, he said. Some musician call, musicians call it bells. It's played by hitting with these little red hammers. A uh, what, said Gordon's mother? Oh, boy, said Gordon. And how much, said Gordon's father. 
Every day, Gordon played music of Yankee Doodle in front of him. He hit the glockenspiel with the little red hammers. While he practiced, his mother sat in her rocking chair, sewing, and his father sat in his easy chair, reading. Listen, said his mother, Gordon is playing my favorite song. Mmm, said father, how can you tell? But Gordon's mother didn't answer. She just kept rocking and sewing and humming Yankee Doodle. One day, the mayor of the town came to Gordon's home. Gordon, said the mayor, I need someone who can play Yankee Doodle to lead the big parade today. Can you play that song? I'll try, said Gordon. He certainly can, said Gordon's mother. All the time, said Gordon's father. Early the next morning, Gordon shined his gold and silver glockenspiel. His mother ironed his best white shirt. His father walked back and forth looking at the kitchen clock. We'll be late, said Gordon's father. I'm almost ready, said Gordon's mother. Me too, said Gordon. When the parade came up the street, there was Gordon marching in front. My, I'm proud, said Gordon's mother. That's my boy, shouted Gordon's father so everyone could hear. And Gordon, smiling from ear to ear, marched along playing Yankee Doodle, loud and clear. Hey friends, what do you think about that? Do you think you'd like to play a glockenspiel? I would. All right, see you next time on Storytime. Bye.